The air show featured more than a dozen world class aerial acts. One aircraft in the show has a major historical credit to its name. 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts introduces us to Doc. Up to 30,000 people are expected to be here at the KC Air Show, but there are more than 25 planes, some big, some small, some new, and even some rare. This is Doc, a Boeing B-29 Super Fortress built in 1945. Only one of two of these types of planes left. This one is based in Wichita for an important reason. This is uh, the airplane that ended the war, ended World War II. You know, the Enola Gay that dropped the atomic bomb and boxcar. Uh, really ended the war. Steve Zimmerman from Olathe is a commercial airlines pilot, but says flying this is a dream. It's really an honor and a privilege to get to fly it and, uh, you know, commemorate what those guys did in World War II for us. Especially when World War II veterans get on board. Um, we've had some on board. It's very emotional for them. A lot of them, I've talked to them later and said that they didn't know how they would react, but they're in tears before they're done. Takes them back. People from all over the Midwest coming to see the show. Other than some miles, it's about three, it's just about three hours. Sure. Burying the heat to see high flying planes. Bring heat, it wouldn't have, we'd have been here. And catch a photo of some rare aircraft. Oh, it's fascinating. I love flight, it's always been a thing for me. The uh, amazing thing about the aerodynamics of flight, and it's always been like a wow minute, you know. And to see these, it's great. In Kansas City, Jordan Betts, 41 Action News.